it's interesting as I'm offered opportunities to speak, uh, especially when we get into a question and answer period, uh, people want to know, what is it, what is this thing about Walmart? Uh, how in the world was Walmart able to do this? I mean, your headquarters at, you know, are in Bentonville, Arkansas, and until Walmart uh, became a large company, nobody ever heard of Bentonville, Arkansas. And um, why, why was Walmart able to do this. Walmart was a small, small company. When I joined the company, there were only, a, you know, uh, I think 276 stores or 296 maybe it was. Um, and our sales were a billion dollars. And uh, albeit uh, that was, uh, you know, like 29 years ago. Uh, and today the sales are over 405 billion. Um, how did that happen? How could how could a company in Bentonville, Arkansas, you know, have a, have uh, have become the largest company in the world? Now let me tell you this: these are my opinions of of why Walmart accomplished something no organization in the history of mankind has ever been able to duplicate or replicate. I think the first thing is, as with any organization, you got to have a vision. You know. Uh, the, the vision of the company was the incredibly important building point. And so you've got, to, you've got to base your organization on a vision that will inspire people. That's what you want to do. You want to inspire people and get them excited about it. Now, Sam's vision was not to become the wealthiest person in the world. Um, Sam's vision uh, was to reduce the cost of living for people who lived in the small rural communities. The next point that I think was extremely important was that, uh, and, and in, in a sense, this is an important part of our values and our belief system, was that we needed to respect everyone, uh, no matter um, uh, what they looked like, no matter where they came from. In many respects, not even uh, uh, what their education was. And so respecting the individual, uh, you know, calling people by their first name, little things, no executive dining room, and uh, you know, it just, everybody's the same, treating people properly, recognizing that the success of an organization depends on people throughout the organization. And so my encouragement to all of you is, is continue to focus on being the best you can possibly be, and in the process you will be moving toward greatness.